Howdy. So I made a build. Um, it's based off of Big Ducks' Scion Ball Lightning build, the same agnostic and archmage scaling mana for damage and for defenses. His is a great build. I just didn't like pressing the mana flask all the time, so I wanted to make one that sustains mana without having to have a flask. So go over the tree first. Um, mostly just mana and life. Agnostic, obviously very important, and Mind Never Matter, very important. We, uh, yeah, pretty basic. We get as much mana regen as we can, though. Mana regeneration rate, because we use... The main point of this build is the Essence Glutton. So at the very bottom there, it says regenerate 8% of mana over 2 seconds when you consume a corpse. So as long as every 2 seconds you're consuming a corpse, you get 4% base mana regen. Plus 1% from Arcane Surge gives you base 5%, and then we scale that with all the mana regen on the tree that we can grab. So you can do a lot with this build. This is kind of just the base setup to prove the concept works. Um, you can do... Like Stormfire Ignite with all the flat lightning damage you get from Archmage. Um, you can do you convert it to cold and do something there, like some big juicy freezes or something. I don't know. You can do a lot with this build though. It's it's very versatile. I just chose VD as the skill because it applies very easily. You don't have to aim it. So like if I were to do VD, I'd still get the same damage boost. Or sorry, detonate dead. Still get the same damage boost. Um, but I'd have to like aim it and I'd have to face tank stuff. The build's not super survivable. I don't have it min-maxed at all. Like an at Zeri's foible would be very good here. Um, but I just have this. The Crusader Anoint is very important. That gives us about 30% more damage, because uh, all the mana, all the percent increased mana sources that we have go towards damage at like 30% of their value or something. So it's a very strong Anoint. Um, so we just have VD, Archmage, Conk Effect, Arcane Surge, and Ellie Focus. The Gloves are 16% more attack and cast speed with faster casting, Desecrate, and Spell Cascade to get our corpses down. Rest of the gear is just trash, um, just trash, trash gear. Life and mana on it. Calms, replica calms is important. And then, yeah, you can definitely min-max this part a lot more, as well as min-max the tree a lot more. But I like the play style. It's very mellow, and you don't have to press a mana flask to sustain your mana. So let's go run a grotto real quick. I'll show you how the build plays. It's not the fastest build, and it's honestly not the tankiest build. You still have to play a little bit safe, but with a little bit more defensive investment, I think you'd be basically invincible, because a lot of these builds are. So we just cast down our VDs. Pledge of Hands has uh, built-in greater spell echo, so we always get three casts. And then you run around and kill shit. It's kind of nice, because you can off-screen, too. If you're a little bit scared, you can pre-fire two a little bit because the balls target themselves. And each ball here is doing about 300k per hit. Ooh, jeez. Whoa, whoa. I'll take the mana flask off. I said no mana flask. I just have an enduring one. I think it helps. The build's not that tanky. A little more investment into defenses. It'll be fine. But it is safe in that you can hide off screen. Like, I'm going to hide behind over here real quick. Cast down some balls. And they'll go auto-target these guys over here. So you can just kind of run to this pack. Cast your corpses. Cast it. And it kills stuff for you off-screen. Probably going to die in this breach. I need a little more life. I have healthy mind up top of the tree. And the pob's in the description. You can just go check it out there. But if I take that off, I lose about 2,500 mana. But I also gain like 600 life or 700 life or something. So yeah, it's not going to win any speed races, but it's tanky and fun. There's definitely some meme potential here with Ignite, I think. With Stormfire, you can do some stuff there. Also, Cremation for bossing is kind of nice, because you don't have to keep casting each time. You can just cast one Cremation, and each little ball from Cremation gets the uh, flat, the flat um, lightning damage. Doesn't really matter what skill you use here as long as you're consuming a corpse. You could also use ball lightning and just consume a corpse every two seconds on like a heartbound loop if you want to. Like a heartbound loop, um like a feedback loop, like in some of the Eric Iken builds that he does. The Forbidden build I think uses it. But yeah, this is the build. Don't need to finish the whole map to show you that. Um the proof of concept works. This is definitely not min-max, but I have the general guide in the description in the pub, so you can go check that out. Yeah, see, Healthy Mind here costs me a lot of life, but you get a ton of mana for it. So we're at 12.5k mana. Take this off. We're still at 10k mana, which is perfectly fine. I just like the extra damage boost from that. 
Um, if you have any questions about the build or how I got it to self-sustain through just regen, let me know in the comments and see you guys later. Thanks.